lesson 11, we address a common problem people encounter when they learn how to do the freestyle stroke, and that was the crossover. We then gave you a drill you can practice to correct the crossover. Let's do a quick recap. The crossover is when your arms overreach and cross over the underside of your body during the pull of each arm rotation. We took a look at what makes the freestyle stroke turn out this way and saw that the wrists completely cross over each other instead of meeting together right in front of the head. Swimming drills and practice are the best way to correct and refine your stroke. In lesson 11, we learned about a drill that is primarily used to correct the crossover. It's called the catch-up drill, where your arms catch up to one another at a center point directly in front of you at each rotation. This promotes a streamlined position and teaches you to stay balanced in the water. In today's lesson, we're going to look at the second most common problem people encounter when learning the freestyle stroke, and that is a short finish. We'll go over a swim drill to help you correct your freestyle stroke. It's called the thumb to thigh drill. A short finish is when your arm does not pull through the water far enough and your arm exits the water too early, like this. The short finish will not only make it harder for you to take a breath properly, but also result in poor propulsion. The resistance of the water makes it harder to swim. Notice how his stroke ends just below his torso, around his waist. His arms don't extend back all the way. This cuts off the full potential of your pull. That was a demonstration of the short finish on a freestyle stroke. Now let's look at how we can fix it. The drill we like to use for correcting the short finish is called the thumb to thigh drill. First, practice the drill while holding onto the wall with one hand and one leg out behind you. Focus on swiping your thigh with your thumb as you finish your stroke. You'll notice that we're pulling all the way back until his thumb literally touches his thigh. It seems obvious why we call this drill the thumb to thigh drill, but what happens a lot of the time is people begin to focus on having their arms at a 90 degree angle when their arm exits the water. Let's have a closer look. We see that he's extending his arm to his thigh and bends the elbow at 90 degrees as he rotates up to start the stroke again. This is where people mess up, and instead of reaching back to finish the stroke at their thigh, they bend the elbow at the chest and exit the water early. So, just remember to think about pushing all the way back to the thigh and touching it with your thumb. Once you've mastered extending your arms all the way behind you, practice the stroke while standing. After doing the standing drill, it's time to test yourself. Now add the kick. Pay attention to his arms. He doesn't pull his hand out of the water until his hand touches his thigh. There's obviously an overemphasis on the back 90 degree angle at this point because you don't want to pull out of the water until your thumb touches your thigh. You also acquire a nice high elbow as a result of practicing this drill. Focus on good back rotation and breathing with each stroke. Make sure to keep practicing so you get better and better. Next week, we're going to address the third problem people encounter when learning the freestyle stroke. Stay tuned! Check out our whole library of Learn to Swim videos and be sure to subscribe for even more great videos from Aquamobile. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the water!